Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm doing it. Christmas time is here. Tis the season of lights and trees and presents and people who are not usually religious celebrating things. Today I'm gonna do another edition of So Lazy because that pun is just too great to only do once. We're gonna be making some pocket warmers for you guys to use as Christmas presents because if you're like me, then you've got a family that loves you enough to accept homemade Christmas presents. Mazel tov. It's great for everyone. Everyone on your list. Grandmas. Pocket warmers. Grandpas. Pocket warmers. Moms. Pocket warmers. Dads. Pocket warmers. Children. Pocket warmers. Grandchildren. Pocket warmers. Your dad's new girlfriend. Pocket warmers. Your mom's new girlfriend. Pocket warmers. Anyway, what do I have hiding under here? Whoa. Was that as exciting for you as it was for me? Don't worry if you don't have a sewing machine, I will still be talking and including you. So all you need for these, sewing machine or no sewing machine, is a needle, thread, some pins, a bag of rice that you don't intend to eat because calories are stupid, and some scraps, and I really mean scraps. Look how small these are. Do you really think you need a whole tapestry to make those? No! I almost hit my camera. If you do crafty projects a lot, and you, you get scraps a lot, and you're like, I'm not gonna use these for anything, <laughs> throw them away. Don't throw them away, because you can make them into pocket warmers. I cut myself a piece of fabric that's about five by seven inches. You can also do two squares that are like three by four, or less even. You're gonna end with this, so as long as it's that surface area, you're good. I need to stop throwing these, because that time I almost hit my computer. They really don't hurt though if you hit something with them. So it's just like making a pillow. If you've never made a pillow, it means that you sew it from the inside out so that you don't see a seam. Because seams are for ugly people's pockets. Or ugly pockets. You can still be ugly and enjoy pocket warmers. We'll start with you hand sewers. Working from the inside out. Pin it in place, doesn't need to be pretty. Where is my needle? I cannot find it. Songs of the seamstress. Or songs of the heroin addict. Now, threading the needle is always a little tough if you're a grandma. And if you're not a grandma, thanks so much for watching my video. I'm just gonna warn you, hand stitching is going to take a tad bit longer than using the sewing machine. My favorite kind of hand stitch that I think is most secure is to go over the edge. Gosh, I hope you can see this. So now while I'm doing this, I'll throw it over to you sewing machine folks. If you're using the sewing machine, uh, just fold your fabric over inside out, put it about a half inch under the foot, put that foot down, and sew for it. Get to the corner, stick that needle in, rotate 90 degrees. Great, you're doing great, guys. Interactive. Got a little crooked because I got a little cocky, but I don't know if you guys can see, the stitch goes all the way around but stops just before it gets here so that you can turn it inside out. Let's check in with our hand stitchers. This takes a long time. Okay, and so now you can see I've turned it inside out. Can't see any gross and ugly seams that are unseemly. I'm on a roll today. And now you're gonna need a funnel. Hold on. I found one! So add that to the materials list and just pour your rice on in there. You can also feel free to add some scenty smelling stuff. You know, you go to like the Whole Foods and they'll have some lavender shit or something. While I turn it inside out to get the unseemly seam on the inside, 
but how do I stitch up the last part? That's when you go back to the needle and thread. So again, just try to hide your stitch as much as possible because stitches are for bitches. There we go, fit as a fiddle. How's it going over there, guys? Person that is also me. It is a good thing that jump cutting exists. Uh, I'm still on my first edge. When you're done with these things, make sure you tell those lucky people, pop it in the microwave for 10, maybe 20 seconds. No, it will not set fire unless there's metal in your fabric. But why would there be? And there you have it. We are all done. As you can see, I didn't finish the hand sewing one because, oh my gosh, that takes a very long time. But don't let that stop you from surprising your friends and family maker, family makers. Well, I guess they are family makers. They did make you. They did do the stuff to make or they made someone who made, or they, they're, and now they're, unless you're adopted. Merry Christmas! Oh my God, there's a cat in the window across the street.